Hello everyone. I thought today we would have a quick look at this Sony surround sound receiver. It is model HCD461. I got this from a co-worker who no longer wanted it, uh, mainly because most of it doesn't work. Uh, I think he told me the radio and the display work, but the cassettes and the CD changer don't work. So what I would thought we would do is plug it in, turn it on, and maybe start pushing some buttons and, and see what happens. So let's go ahead and do a quick view of some of the buttons here. There's a, right there's the display, obviously. Got some presets. Master volume. And this was uh this was back in the uh back in the Pro Logic days, so I don't know the exact year off the top of my head. I'll have to look at the back of it and we'll we'll find out. Uh and then there's the surround modes. Uh and here's your function buttons. Speaker controls. Uh, it says super woofer, but I didn't get any speakers with this receiver. And here's a quick look at the tape decks. And then there is a five disc CD changer underneath it. Go ahead and let's. I don't have any speakers hooked up to it, uh, mainly because I don't really want any copyright issues with it. So let's just turn on, and see what happens. Well, I powered up. Display works. There's the tuner. Got all kinds of little uh, display lights. Let's uh, let's see if the tape deck works. Let me uh, grab a tape here, and let's just see if uh, the tape turns. Try that again. Yeah, I put it in uh, tape B here. Let's see if this one plays. Nope, this one doesn't play either. Uh, how about the CD changer? Let's see. I'll go ahead and open it up. Wow, is that dirty? Oh my gosh. Wow. I had no idea the thing was that dirty. Well, I bet you with it being this dirty, it's probably not going to work very well. Okay, I have, I'm just going to put one CD in here. I'm not going to load it up. Uh, no sense in doing that. Uh, just put one CD in it. Let's just see if it works. See what happens. Wow. It's not recognizing, uh, wasn't recognizing the disc there. Uh, I think it wants to play, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't know what it's supposed to be doing, I guess. Uh, no disc. So the CD changer doesn't work as well. Here is the remote to the receiver. Uh, it's a pretty fancy remote. Looks like it does quite a few things. You can control various things with it there. And what's pretty cool is uh, my other receiver that I've done a video on, uh, 
this is this is the remote to it and it's just kind of interesting on kind of how similar they are they're the same they're pretty much the same size Okay, here's the back of the receiver. Got your uh, antenna connections there. Got your input outputs there. Got your speaker connections. There we go, June of 1996. I'm almost betting that the reason that the CD changer probably doesn't work very well is because this thing is so filthy. I mean, look at that. Wow. <laughs> so anyway, this may be worth seeing if I can get it rocking and rolling again. As far as the CD changer goes, I might just try to clean it real good. Maybe get in there and clean the uh, the the, uh, the reader lens. So anyway, that is it for this video. And if you like my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And I have more videos on the way. And as always, thank you for watching.